Hello! Welcome back to GRTC Videos, Daily Supply of Solutions to Engineering Videos. Today, we will discuss the flexion of a cantilever beam. So specifically, the, this beam shown here, so it is a 6 meter long cantilever beam. Uh, we will be solving the reflection and the rotation at D and at C. Okay? So, we will have this uh, problem here. Determine the rotation and reflection at B and C. Assuming our flexural rigidity EI equals 10,000 kilonewton meter squared. By the way, tip ko lang, uh, if you are given the value of E and I separately, uh, it's very advisable to express the product EI into kilonewton meter squared. Uh, if you do that, you will not have a hard time converting units of W and L into mm. So uh, this is the, the the straightforward approach, the easiest way to do it. Okay, so how will we do this? So we can use the formulas here. So pwede natin gamitin yung formulas. Uh, you can find these formulas in our uh, newly launched uh, GRTC Hub website. I have their formulas, okay, and it looks like this. So let's uh, use this formula here. So for a uh, varying load, okay, uh, some would say this is triangular loading. So actually, this is uniformly varying load from W to zero at the tip. Uh, the reflection at the tip is, uh, which is the maximum, is WL to the fourth over thirty EI, and then the rotation is WL cube over twenty four. EI. So, we will use this formula na lang. Ah, by the way, talking of board exam, ah, kalimitan, mine, binibigay niya itong formula na to. O kung hindi man, I advise you to memorize these formulas. If you're planning to take the board exam, ah, ito, most of her problem involving deflection involves cantilever beams. Ito talaga yung na-notice ko sa mga exams na binibigay niya. And talking of cantilever beams, uh, dito sa bago naming site, uh, we are still developing this one. You can find this one, so you can uh, visit this site, sites.google, uh, okay, Google, so yung address niya. You can click here, GRTC Studio or uh, Study Companion. And then, theory of structures, uh, later on, parabi na parami itong formula na to. We will make this complete from algebra, surveying, hydraulics, geotech, lahat. Ah, so, ngayon, dinidevelop pa namin. So, meron ditong cantilever formulas, cantilever beam formulas. And in this, meron ditong deflection and moment formulas. Na? Ito yung ating cantilever beam. Ayan. Ito yung mm, gamitin tong formula dito to be familiar with this. Uh, I urge you to memorize it. If you are taking the board exam, mar malaking gamit nito. Mal malaki masyado yung gamit yan. Pag hindi man ibigay yan, just memorize the important formulas like this one here. So, siya, eh, pag nakalimutan mo, if you forget this formula here, if you know this formula, then no problem. Makukuha mo yan. And then, ito naman, very common. Okay? And then, ito naman yung triangular loading and also this one. Actually, if you want talaga, ito naman talaga yung pinakamagandang formula. Ito, in this, particularly this formula here. Kasi you can solve all types of loading, gravity loading, using this formula. Gagamit ka nga lang ng integration. Yun lang. Gagamit ka lang ng integration. Ha? So, pero... Kung ano lang naman, anyway, you can be familiar with this. I know some of you are familiar with these formulas. Reaction, uh, no need for the reaction. It's very easy to solve. Uh, particularly here, the moment and the rotation. Okay? Alright, so let's use this formula. Uh, WL to the 4th over 30 EI and WL cube over 24 EI for the rotation. So very direct substitution lang. If you are up there for the uh, displacement at B. So theta B is equal to WL cube over 24 EI. So W is in kilonewton per meter. L is in meter. And then EI, no problem, is kilonewton meter squared. So direct substitution lang ito. You know the formula. Okay? 24L cube. And this will give you, radian yung lalabas dyan. No? 0.0216 radian. 
they judge. You can convert that to degrees. Now multiply that by 180 degrees per pi region. Okay. And for the deflection, that will be WL to the fourth over 30i. WL to the fourth over 30i. Well, the negative here because the reference here is horizontal line. Kaya yung negative dyan, meaning, meaning downward, no? If your W is uh, uh, downward. So, that will give you this one. So, very easy using the formula. So, ang lalapas dito, what we, the, the unit will be meter, 0.1037. So, just use kilonewton meter squared for your EI, your uh, flexural rigidity. Okay? Here. So, just use uh, Newton or kilonewton meter. So, this in mm times 1,000, so 103.7 millimeters. Okay? So, that's very short. Now, how about the deflection and the rotation at C? Alright. So, this is the challenge here. How will you do that? This is the formulas we have here. Um, sorry. Yes. Okay. Since the formula here is for the deflection and rotation at the tip at B. So, how are you going to handle this deflection at C using those formulas? Okay. Actually, you might think, ako, hindi na pwede. Actually, pwede. You can use area moment here. You can use double integration. No problem. But, uh, my point here is just using the formulas I gave you, which sometimes the examiner gave, gives those, those formulas. Anyway, uh, I, if you can see here in this uh, formula, uh, we have here a formula for the delta at any value of x. You can make use of this formula. No problem. No problem. But just in case. Kasi, if, uh, for example, baka hindi niya ibigay yung formula and then it's very difficult to memorize. Okay? My point here, this would be enough. Memorizing the maximum deflection and the rotation at the tip for cantilever beams will be enough to solve problems, rotation and deflection at any point of the beam. How will you do that? Okay, this is how you do it. Okay, let's, uh, let's divide. Uh, let's cut this section here and let's create another cantilever beam. If you cut that out, that one, okay, so 3 meters. Three meters so we will be up there we are up there for the, the displacement here at C so after tayo sa displacement dito sa C okay let's uh, cut it off Yeah. so this will be 24 and 12 well, by proportion this should be 12 because this is one half one half so obviously common sense na lang, this is equal to 12 kilonewton per meter w1 let's call it w1 and this is also w1 now the thing here is this one we remove this one leaving a cantilever beam but don't forget that this may roll ito the loads induced by this to this beam should be included so meaning the total vertical downward load of this will be applied at c and let's call that p prime and then the moment caused by this cantilever here will be applied at C. All right, and let's call that M prime. So P prime and M prime are the loads induced by this part here. Okay, so your P prime is the total load here, one half three times twelve, one half twelve times three. That's eighteen kilonewtons. And the moment will be one half twelve times three times one third of three. All right, three over three. <clears throat> so that's. 18 kilonewton meter. So, assuming clockwise positive, well, correct. Okay. Now, we have this loading here. As you can see, this loading has all the three loads or four loads I mentioned kanina uh, na dapat mong memorize. Ito yun. If you cut that off, this will be obviously 12 and this will also be 12. 24 minus 12 is 12. Alright. And finally, you have this. So, look. We have here a cantilever beam loaded with four loadings. Now, moment applied at the tip, P applied at the tip, uniform load, and a triangular or varying load. You can combine all those formulas. You can combine all those formulas. Okay, this is the formula for the triangular loading. 
right? And this is the formulas for, these are the formulas for applied moment, deflection is ML squared over 2EI, and the uniform load is 8 or WL to the fourth over 8EI. And this is the formula for the concentrated load. I know most of you are familiar with this. PL cube over 3EI. So there are four loadings. So let's do it one by one. So the deflection at C is first due to P prime. So PL cube over 3EI. Your L is A. Your L here is A. This one here. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's use uh, a highlighter. Okay. Your L is this one. That A there. Okay. So PA cube over 3EI. Negative. Okay. Next is for the uniform load. W, the 12, W1, W1, A to the 4th over 8I. Okay, and then for the varying load, that will be W2, A to the 4th over 30EI. And for the uh, applied moment, that will be MA squared over 2EI. MA squared. Okay, so well, if you know these formulas, then you can make use of that. So this becomes a segment cantilever. Okay, so with additional loads here because of the segment that we have removed. And that will give you what? Okay, just check on the values. And then you will get negative 3969 over 10 EI. And take note, uh, this the, the numerator here as a unit of kilonewton meter uh, cube. A unit of this is kilonewton meter cube. And you divide that by kilonewton meter squared, that gives you meter. Meter yung lalabas na yun. Okay, so 0 0.3903969 meter times 1,039.69 mm. Okay? Again, you can use the formula given in the table if you want. Uh, that this formula here, no problem. No problem. That will give you exactly the same result as here. Alright, I will leave the rotation sa inyo. Okay, just solve the rotation caused by these four loadings. The answer is 0 0.02025. You notice that uh, wala tayong formula. We have no formula for rotation here. Okay, we don't have formula for rotation here. Okay, so you just apply similar approach na dito sa ginawa natin. Okay. So, and by the way, before before I end this video, uh, I would like to invite you, if you are those who are planning to take the board exam, uh, Kahit anong year ba? Uh, today, as as of recording, uh, this uh, April ngayon. Okay? Kung nagdududa kayo na may exam ba ngayong November or wala, baka masayang lang yung pag-review nyo. Ito yung pinaka-best option that you will have. Our GRTC Lite and GRTC Plus. Ano ba yung GRTC Lite and GRTC Plus? So, the membership for the Lite is only 499 pesos a month. Monthly subscription. And ito yung aming in-enhanced na feature. So, if you visit this site, you can have the link here. Okay? And then, you can choose the course. Pili ka lang ng course. Halimbawa, if you go, you want to study a particular topic or a particular subject, let's say, let's have course number 10. And then, we have stresses in beams. So, sa mong pag-aralan yung, uh, halimbawa, uh, combined axial and bending stresses, Alright, just click on that. If you're a member of the... Okay, sorry. Uh, sandali. Uh, I will use the other link. By the way, this will be the result if you're not a member. Uh, you, you you may wonder, Oi, uh, members content only. Okay. But if you will have... I will use the other link. Alright, this one here. So, let's go back. Uh, if you want to study about combined, combined axial and bending stress, then it will lead you directly to that part of the lecture. Okay. So you can actually you can forward, you can move backward, no problem. If you if you remember, you, you can do this. You can just select 
a topic here that's very easy to navigate. Okay, you want to uh, know about normal pool, then it will lead you directly to the video regarding normal pool. Problem about normal pool. Alright, so that's our uh, enhanced uh, feature of our DERTC type. So, 499, ang plus naman namin is uh, 899 pesos per month. Okay, this one here. The difference between the Review Lite and Review Plus. So, if you are a member of Plus, you have all the features of the Lite and a growing library of solutions to CE problems, especially the recent board exams. Uh, parami ng parami yan as we go on. And you will uh, have a discount. You can buy books at 50% discount. And for the first 100 members, meron kayong 50% discount. Any book you will buy, Isang title lang, isang book lang per that time. Haba, nagpa-member ka ngayong month. Plus, next month, member ka ulit ng plus. You can avail every time you will have, you will join the plus, pay the full payment for the plus, you will have 50% discount on any one book. But the rest of the books, automatic ka na 15%. Uh, okay? So, yun. So, again, thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you again on our next Thank you so much.